Well, Russian and U.S. officials met in the Turkish capital of Ankara on Friday for a new round of peace talks. U.S.-led talks took place in the Russian embassy together with the Taliban, as well as regional stakeholders aimed at ending the war in Afghanistan. For more on these discussions, former Afghan Deputy Minister for Policy and Strategy, Major General Masoud Azizi, joins us now from Dubai. General, thank you very much for joining us. Now, uh, if you could just explain to us in what ways do the Russian and American views differ on the Afghan peace talks? Well, uh, such meetings and such consultations are very important for building the confidence and trust among uh, the different stakeholders. Uh, so I think it's very important to pursuing the bringing the national, regional and international consensus regarding the peace process. So uh, Russia is a very important and uh, influential uh, player in this process uh, and Zulmay Khalilzad is uh, doing an important job to be pursuing their, uh, uh, seeking their uh, confidence before making any deal. So I think we, we learn uh, uh, very well from the previous experience when the Soviet withdrawal happened uh, and Afghanistan went to a civil war and became a safe haven for the international terrorist groups. So I think both sides they understand and it is their responsibility to, to come up with a conclusion and understanding uh, to bring peace in Afghanistan where we lose every day from 200 to 300 people. It's a humanitarian issue. It's a crisis. So I think such a consultation are very important before and during and after the peace process. Uh, you mentioned Khalil Zad, uh, and I want to bring that up. There is a bit, of, a bit of a criticism around him, specifically over the exclusion of the Afghan government, uh, because the U.S. appears uh, to be making some concessions to uh, the Taliban. Do you think this criticism is, is fair? I think before we uh, criticize, I think it's very important to understand the process. I think it's a journey, you know, from taking from negotiation all the way to making deal and then implementing the deal. We're a little bit becoming our excited, I believe. Um, uh, uh, now we are definitely in the stage of negotiation, which we have three main players. Uh, U.S., Taliban, and of course, Afghan government and the political elite. So I'm sure sooner or later, the Afghan government will be on this discussion involved uh, directly to making any deal. Without the Afghan government involvement, I think it will be not, we will be not able to making any deal happen. So normally such process, if you look at any other country experience, it will take some time to make that deal happen and then implementing the deal. Okay. So uh, this is a journey we have to follow. Okay. Major General, I want to also ask you, uh, in, in everything there is always this uh, unknown factor. What, what do you think, in, in, in terms of the peace process, what's going on right now, what factors are not being taken into consideration here? I think uh, we are pursuing the two elements uh, uh, since the South Asia policy from the U.S., uh, the, the military uh, pressure and the political pressure. Uh, but one element which is missing, it is the social pressure. I think we need, if we look at the, 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 the terrorism in Afghanistan, we should not only look at it from the ideological perspective. There's other main elements that they are contributing, such as poor economy. So I think it's very important if we not only the top down, I think it's very important to have the bottom up approach as well. How can we create, there is a local commanders uh, that they are uh, based on the, my knowledge and experience that I have uh, in Afghanistan the 17 years, they do have the willingness to come and join. So I think one element which is missing is the bottom-up approach, the social approach, and as well as the economical approach, how can we pr pursue a long-term uh, peace, not just only a short-term peace in Afghanistan. All right, Major General Masoud Azizi, thank you for your insight on the Afghan peace talks. Appreciate it.